Well, another day, uh, week four in the shutdown. Uh, we're halfway there. No, not quite. We got to get through this week and then we're halfway there. Oh, I cannot wait to be able just to make content on the regular again and just do normal things. I, I made a video for today. Um, obviously, it's going up before this will. And, uh, you know, it, things hit a lot differently now. Like, all together, just understanding a lot more of the fandom and how people are and just how everyone doesn't care. They just want to have fun. And... You know, I, I've seen a few live streams now where I just sit there and I giggle and I laugh and I'm just elated by the amount of fun people are having. And it's, it's a very different setting and a very different place to be at this point. Uh, yeah, and now I'm taking part in all of it. And I have to say thank you to every last one that sits there and, and visits the streams, visits the channel and it's pretty insane right now because I have the one video that uh, kind of went to the moon, uh, the, the libs of TikTok video. And, uh, you know, majority of that, like 99, 99, 99% of that video is all positive. All of it's positive. And, you know, there, there is the outlying, uh, and I'm not going to let the negative ones come up to the surface because that's not what we do anymore. That's not, I, I don't need to worry about that. And I'm just, I'm just happy that everyone's enjoying the videos that I put out and just wants to listen to what I have to say on, on some matters and that situation for the public fursuiting, you know, Honestly, if you have, if you're spending all this money on a fursuit, you, you, you want to try and do whatever you can. You spend like four, five, six, seven thousand dollars on a fursuit. You damn well want to wear it and show it off. And that's all it is, is, you know, it, it takes me back to the days when we used to go clubbing. Uh, I, I'm very big, uh, you know, I was a very big emo kid. And back in the 20s, uh, when we used to go clubbing, it was, the, the whole attitude was to dress to impress. And that was the attitude behind it, was to get dressed up in, in more of the style and fashion of the club wear and go to the bar and, and just have a good time. And that's what this is really reminding me of right now. That's what the fandom reminds me of is stuff that we used to do. Um, it, it, it's a very different scenario. You know, the last 15, 20 years, uh, I've just been parading through life, just trying to get through life and just try and do things. And where, you know, where does that really get me? It, it gets me in a job right now where, you know, I can put one foot in front of the other and, and just go to work and go home and enjoy things with the family and do all that type of stuff. But now, now I'm at a point where I'm like, okay, Things have settled down quite a bit. I don't have to worry about surviving. And I just want to make content and make fun, enticing things. And that's where I'm at right now. We, you know, we did the live stream over the weekend, uh, on, on in VR chat. And I thought that was a very fun, uh, live stream. We went on for almost six hours and I have trouble. I, I have to say, I have trouble doing like two to three hour live streams, playing just a regular video game because a lot of times I, I, I have to sit there and rely on chat. I have to I rely on talking to everyone out there. And you know what? It, it sometimes can get a little bit dry. Uh, you, you can sit there and play a video game. But the difference with VR chat and the difference with the with this is you can express and you can just have fun. And you, can, you're, you're, you don't have to just stand or sit in a chair. Like I'm standing for most of these and that is quite grueling. I had to get to the point where I was like, okay, I got to sit down because this is, this is just starting to hurt my legs and when you're sitting when you're standing for four hours in a vr chat model and uh just trying to have fun and just doing silly things and and just having fun with friends it's absolutely amazing in that sense but it's very grueling on the legs and very grueling on the body um i, I i'm going to have to i, I think i gotta work out some sort of fitness re re regiment at this point as you can tell my my speech impediment's kind of coming out here a little bit um it's, it's not easy in a lot of cases. And a lot of these car vlogs, yeah, I, I, I sit there and just try and talk about things that I see going on around the world. And right now what I'm seeing going on around the world is that, that, that video blew up. 
I, and I have to say thank you to everyone that's subscribing to the channel. Um, it really does mean a lot because now I know, I, I now know I'm on the right direction. I now know I'm on the right direction with what I'm doing with content, with what I'm doing. And I'm just going to keep speaking from, from this place. I'm going to keep speaking from me and, and not try and be, be another talking head. I don't want to be that person that sits there and listens to the, the rhetoric that's going on around here, uh, going on and around. I'm going to be, I, you know, I've always been that one where I'm going to put the knife down and s draw that line. And I'm going to say, listen, I'm coming right up to the line. I might not cross it, but I'm coming right up to the line. And I'm going to tell you that what you're doing is getting very close to crossing it and crossing that line is not the way to go. And that's where I saw that post. That's where I saw that post. It's, you know, if any normal account would have posted that, it wouldn't have been anything major. People would have fluffed it off and it would have walked away. And now where you have that particular account, that particular account has had it's running with controversies and drama and political sphere. And it just creates more of the, the never ending, um, thing called social media that sits there and everyone just gets, gets all uppity with social media. And that's what it is, is the, the, the social media in a, in a lot of ways was a mistake. Yes. It's great to get info. It's great to get things out there in, in the world and be able to talk and be able to do things at an instant. But in a lot of cases, social media, certain things just go off the rails. And that's the type of post that I saw that as that's the type of post. There's nothing wrong with what the, what the furry did having the, 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 his fursuit head on, on him walking past that kid. It's, the fact that it just blew up on an account that you knew was going to blow this up and they surely were just trying to cash in on a viral trend that happened the day before. So that's the way I see it. I don't see anything wrong with sitting there. You're spending all this money on your fursuits. You're spending all this money on, on gear that absolutely looks amazing. And you're not going to wear it just at Halloween. You want, you want time that you can sit there and wear it on a normal basis. And you know, I've, I've gotten to know a few people that sit there and they will go out like once or twice a month and just do the public fursuiting because it's fun. They want to show off. People want to show off their creations. And that's, that's the big difference here with the furry fandom is a lot of it is art driven and that art driven is what shows it off. And that's why it's so much different. Once you're on this side, it is so much different. I, I sat there from, from a place of just not knowing from ignorance. And now I'm sitting here going, why did I deny any of this? Why did I sit there and tell myself, no, you can't be a part of this because that's not you. Well, this is where I'm at now. And I absolutely am enjoying myself. I, I, I sit there in a live stream right now, laughing my ass off nonstop as I watch two, two furries trying tearless cursed foods. I mean, that's, that's freaking hilarious. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to, I'm done enough rambling for today. You guys have a great day. Thanks for watching. I'm your proud Canadian Phoenix in a shadow. I'm signing off here and don't forget to like, and subscribe.